You know, folks, we were lucky enough to uh, visit the Wisconsin Automotive Museum on this weekend. Coincidentally, there's a great little banquet going on for the Vi Vintage Modified Stock Car Club. Help, help me out on that. Vintage Modified Stock Car Group. Uh, group. Okay, and you are again? Uh, John Sergis. John Sergis, who is the president of the club? Right. Well, give us some history on your club and uh, this great event today. Well, the club started probably about 11 years ago. We just wanted to honor some of the, the drivers from the old short tracks that, that gave us so many memories. And we thought, uh, what better way to do it than to find some of the old cars and restore them and bring them back and take some tours on some tracks once in a while. and and get the, the former drivers back out in the limelight again, you know, and kind of pay a little tribute to, for all the memories they gave us. It's an awesome event. I had a hot dog. <laughs> and uh, just just uh, for history's sake, give us some, uh, throw out some names that are here today. Well, Miles Melius is here. I, Mouse. I, I, Mouse uh, Bob Robo is here. He was, he was very popular in the IRA. And uh, uh, Billy Engelhart, who actually went all the way to Indianapolis and, and, and raced at Indy. And he started in the short tracks around Wisconsin. Uh, we just get we get probably 50, 60 guys that come out for these shows, and and now that we have a Hall of Fame up here in Hartford, this is uh, the the best thing that we actually hope for. We, this was a dream of ours for a long time, and now it's finally a reality. And and during the winter months, we throw a little get together for everybody up here, and it brings them all out and gets rid of some cabin fever and. You know, give them something to do during the winter. You okay, know, uh, when when you guys do get some of these vintage cars out onto the racetrack again, uh, that usually happens at Slinger Speedway, correct? Well, Slinger is one, and that's just uh, they have a, a like a reunion night at Slinger usually in, in in June, and we take them out for a couple of pace laps and get all the former drivers out there. Mm -hmm. But we actually go to some other tracks where they actually give us like what we call a play day, where we can actually go out on this track and take some hot laps and stuff, and okay. and play around with the cars, and it's just just for us you know which is a lot of fun to hear these cars run again a lot of them have open exhaust you know you Absolutely. don't hear that anymore so they're pretty cool sounding cars great um does your club have a website yeah we have a website it's uh it's a vmsconline.com and okay. that shows you kind of what we got to get it updated a little bit but it shows you schedules and some of how, how our cars that look my very next question yep. if someone were interested in this and uh wanted to come out and witness some cool racing with these sweet old cars yep they would go there to find out the general information on when and That's where. correct. Otherwise, my number should be on there. You can contact me. I'd be glad to let everybody know. Excellent. You know, you know John, uh, when I was a kid growing up, I wasn't too far from a local Articat snowmobile dealership in Racine, Wisconsin, owned by Norm Nelson. And he's one of the museum drivers of the month. And, uh, g you know, give us a little bit, if you can, some history on the famous Norm Nelson. Well, Norm Nelson, uh, you know, started back in, in these modifieds, and uh, he raced way back, and he, had a, he actually had a Crosby station wagon, and uh, a real wild-looking car, and it was probably pretty much open. You could see his legs hanging out of the side of the car and everything, but he was a champ, I think, at Wilmot for, for a year, and then he started moving up into the late model divisions, and, and he was very successful in, in late model, and uh, the USAC stocks mainly, and he actually fielded a couple cars. I think Roger McCleskey drove for him, Really? Yep, and uh, he ran up, you know, probably into the 70s. He had the, the Plymouth Superbirds, which are real yeah. cool-looking cars, and uh, probably one of the most successful area stock car drivers in our time. Right. Well, thank you for that You're welcome. history lesson on Norm Nelson, right from Racine, folks. Well, John, thank you so much for your time today. You're welcome. Glad, Thanks glad for the hot here. dog and uh, meeting all of these great folks, and uh, we'll have to come back next year and feature this club first and foremost. You bet. We'd love to, love to do that. Thank you. Thank you.